1453, where Europe meets Asia. Constantinople. For a thousand years, this great city has protected Christianity in the East. Now it is the last bastion of Constantine, 88th Emperor of Byzantium. His empire is a Christian island, lapped by the rising tide of Islam. As Islamic soldiers approach, farmers and peasants seek shelter. The once great empire has shrunk to the city of Constantinople and the farmland around it. North, south, east, and west, all has fallen to Islam. Constantine must rally his people. Only the walls of Constantinople stand between the Christian Empire and the triumph of Islam. A hundred and thirty miles to the northwest, in Adrianople, a young Turkey Sultan, Mehmet II, had just become ruler of the Ottomans. He cast his eyes on the greatest prize of all, Constantinople, a prize those before him failed to take. Mehmet was ambitious. He also was interested in new technology. A Hungarian engineer, Urban, brought him plans for a super gun. Mehmet was fascinated. Constantine already had refused Urban's new gun. It was too expensive. Urban built and tested his super gun. It fired an 18-inch diameter granite ball up to a mile, burying itself six feet deep in the earth. made plans to lay siege to Constantinople. He positioned the super gun outside the main gate. On April 12th, 1453, his cannon roared. The thick city walls that for centuries had protected the Christian capital in the east crumbled in weeks. Mehmet's troops poured into the city. For days they looted and murdered. Eventually a severed head was delivered to Mehmet. They said it was Constantine's. Later a headless body was discovered in Constantine's armor. Gunpowder had won Islam a toehold in the West. Mehmet's supergun altered the course of history. But it wasn't a weapon to be dragged from siege to siege. It needed 60 oxen and 200 men to haul it into place. Once positioned, it took over an hour to load. Its recoil was so great, it took three hours to realign so it could be fired again. 